love you all. Bonga bonga. La lu la lu la lu la lu la le. Lu la lu la lu la lu la lu la le. Hi, this is Trendencias and I am Carlos Marrero reporting on the exciting world of fashion, beauty and entertainment. And today we're talking about a special fashion segment. We're talking about RuPaul's Drag Race, most fashionable drag queens and whoever to help us out with this than the lovely, the gorgeous Athena Dion. Athena, welcome! Well, thank you for having me! You look amazing! Do I look fashionable enough to comment on these, these outfits? You are one of the most fashionable queens. So so today I thought that we would break it down and this is something that everybody is going to disagree or agree with us but this is our show today so we're going to tell them like it is. All right? Spill the tea honey. Spill the tea. So we're going to say the top 10 most fashionable drag queens of RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay so this is how we're going to roll. I'm going to give you one, then you give me one and then we'll have a kiki together. Okay we'll give it to each other baby. <laughs> Right. Is this the top 10 drag queens that no. would love their fashion? I actually think that Milk always pushed the envelope when it came to fashion. Do you remember the Pinocchio yes. one? No, yes, and he's always very, he's very edgy, very underground, and he always plays the lines between gender, which I really like about Milk as well. Yeah, yeah. honey, she's amazing. I think out of all the queens, she can paint like better than Picasso. Well, honey, let me tell you something. She actually, I think her rise to fame was fame was having her own YouTube channel with doing makeup. So she is a very skilled makeup artist. She's a veteran when it comes to makeup. So I think she that's that's kind of like one of her specialties. You know what I mean? I think she has her own line of makeup now. It's like really killing it. I, I haven't heard of it, but if she doesn't, she definitely should because that's definitely up her alley for sure. The queen got coins. The queen definitely got coins. Honey. Let's not even talk about how much she's probably making, but she deserves every penny because she's a very talented bitch. I think you need to kai kai with her I, you know what the next episode is top 10 queens athena would kai kai with I'm yes queen top yes maybe top 20. <laughs> okay so my my pick for this next round let me see if you can guess it hello it's me valentina hello it's me valentina Oh my god, you cannot give me Valentina right now. You know what, I get that quite often. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. But Valentina has to be um, one of the most memorable queens in Drag Race history. Super fashionable because every time she hit the runway, people were just like... She came out dressed as a bride and it was it was just gorgeous. It looked like a quinceañera actually because she's so young. But She was like Miss Venezuela getting married. I mean, hair slicked down, makeup beat for the gods, stunning white. I mean, waistline for days. I wanted to kill her. I live for her eyebrows. Yeah, oh, the little lines in there. Totally. Now everybody's doing the little lines in the eyebrows. Like who, who has eyebrows with, with lines in them? Non-existent. Non-existent. Cartoon. She's another world. <laughs> All right, I have a confession to make. Spill it. The next one, I think it's something that I need to do this week. Because I have been drinking a little bit this week because of the whole politics aside, but... The next queen is Detox. We all need a good Detox, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I love Detox fashion. What do you think about Detox? Detox is, I mean, RuPaul's Drag Race fashion royalty. There's nothing that girl can do that is not just just jaw-dropping. She She's like a step ahead of the game. She's so progressive with her looks. She always is just gag-worthy when she hit the runway. And now, even when she goes out and we're seeing her on social media, it's fantastic. Very. Yes, it wasn't even black and white. Oh, for the reunion, yeah. Like, honestly, when I first saw it, I was like, how did they do that? Did they, like, just change her color? But she painted that way. It was stunning. It was amazing. Okay, so my pick is going to have to be... I mean, she's like a model as it is, like catwalk ready, Naomi Smalls. I mean, yes, legs for days. Or, I'm sorry, but if you have that body or anything you want on, and you will look like high fashion hot couture, like it's amazing. I, I, it's so funny that you say that because the one thing that I remember about her is the newspaper dress. And it was made out of newspaper and she gave you Naomi Campbell's realness. I'm telling you, you know what? Just tall, skinny people, everything looks better on them. I mean, it's very unfortunate for us short squat people. Well, Hottie. We're going Asia now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are we jumping continents here? Oh, I, I just love this one. I, I believe it's season three, but Manila Luzon. Yeah, um, another drag royalty. She's yeah. got some great style, absolutely. I heard she's on the next season of Super uh, All Stars. Oh, really? I didn't 
hear that too. Yeah, I, I just hope I'm not wrong. It's Manila Luzon, and I am back for All Stars 4. I remember that pineapple dress. Do you remember it? Yeah, that was really good. She's actually had like a really a lot of a lot of really fun looks. She did the pineapple one. She did some characters as well, which I think were really Big Bird. Big Bird, yeah. So uh, I, she has like those looks that are kind of like really fun, but still fashion forward at the same time. She really knows. It's that. like couture fun. One hundred and one Dalmatian. Kindergarten couture. <laughs> Ooh, I live for that. Yeah. All right, Mama, give me one. Okay, well, since we're sticking with the Asian theme, I'm gonna have to go with kimchi. And oh, uh, we're staying like Asian realness. Real kimchi because not only is the queen fashion forward, but her makeup skills are to die for. So she is like a walking piece of art all time. Like, I mean, if she's wearing something here, her face is gonna match the same way. So I think kimchi deserves one of the spots in this top 10. All right, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Miss Fame, kimchi when it comes to makeup. It's totally different. I'm not gonna pick one. I'm not picking one because they're not in the same field. I mean, Miss Fame has her style of makeup and kimchi is like a walking canvas. So it's like two really different people. You're right. I think kimchi is a little bit more like uh, artistic and Miss Fame is a little fishier. Fame, She's fish. Miss Fame is makeup. Makeup with a face. Kimchi is like a, a canvas. Like I feel like she is actually painting on a piece of canvas rather than a, a face of makeup. Okay, the next one. She has no hair. RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, that's the queen bee. That's the queen bee. But I think this one is like one of the most artistic drag queens of all time. And her name is Sasha Velour. Oh, Sasha Velour. I mean, she does no wrong. She is the queen for a reason. Her fashion is to die for. It's like from so genuine when it comes to what she's doing on the runway. I love it. I think every look is very much like a story. Do you remember that one that uh, when she's on the uh, on the on the catwalk and she takes her hat off and there's like a little house on top of her head? Yeah, she's totally creative. I mean, everything she does is very well thought out, and there is a storyline to everything she does, which I love. It. I love watching her. So I'm gonna have to go with the queen that I actually met after she won Drag Race. So yes, it's a winner. You met her? I met her. She came to a club that I was working at here in Fort Lauderdale, and I loved her to death. She's so cool. I was like a big fan before I met her, and that is Raja, queen of fashion, original fashion queen. She Shut it down. She would come out there with every challenge and everything would just be so fashion forward. Plus, she has that long, lean, tall, slender body. So no matter what she put on her, she looked amazing. So there's no doubt that Raja to me is the queen of RuPaul's Drag Race fashion. All right, so now we're going to number one. And I, this is something that I don't know if you agree with me, but I think Violet Chachki could be the most fashionable queen of all drag race. I'll tell you something, I think she sealed the deal when she came back all gown and the crown, that skin crown coming out of her head and the bugs crawling all over her. Roaches. The roaches. So the roaches crawling all over her face. I'm saying that queen at that moment was like, okay girl. Yes, I mean, you could be a, the, bit, the biggest bitch you want to be, but you know what you're doing when it comes to fashion. And she does. She's, she's stunning. You need an oxygen mask to support her. I know. Remember that corset and she couldn't breathe? I don't even know where her ribs went. I'm like, girl, what doctor did you get those ribs removed from? Because I need to go see him. <laughs> she, it looked like she really did an oxygen mask. That thing was so tight and it was just so, so forward, so fresh. I loved it. Why do you think RuPaul's Drag Race is such a phenomenon? Let me tell you something, because RuPaul's Drag Race is kind of like this mixture of a America's Next Top Model meets Project Runway. Mixed Real Housewives. Mixed with Real Housewives drama, yeah. No, like, it's totally, it's been a couple of phenomenon because I think everybody has a little bit of drag queen inside of them, and how can you avoid a show? I don't. Oh, you've had some drag queen inside of you. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. But how can you avoid that much fabulosity on a TV show? I think everybody can relate to it, but, but between the stories the girls tell and between what they're presenting on the runway, it's just something for everybody. Well, Athena, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank at you for Tendencias me. and... It, to our viewers, what do we say? If you like the video? Oh, like the video. What uh, happened if you don't like the video? And if you don't like the video, still click the thumbs up. Please comment down below. Click the like button and subscribe. Plus, hit the notification bell. Para update this video. Of course. Join channel. Chuba to Chuba to